Hey guys, this is Ponce, here to talk to you guys about plants, the new jungle feature in the 2017 season. Uh, now this information's been out for a few days, so I'm assuming most of you guys have probably seen the basics of this, uh, which I'll kind of go over briefly, but more so I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this and sort of stuff like that. Um, but for those of you not aware, basically they're replacing uh, smite buffs. So um, like for example, when you smite the, the raptor camp, you, you know, you get the um, the ward sweeping buff, or when you uh, smite red, you get, you know, health back, stuff like that. They're taking that that out now i believe red and blue buffs specifically are still in the game they haven't said anything about that um but they're taking out those smite like when you smite you get the buff kind of thing that's no longer in the game or at least plan to not be in the game uh and they're re sort of replacing it basically with this plant feature um where well, let's uh, let me just read what they have to say here Let's flesh out some details. Plants are small, single-use, neutral objectives that activate when attacked by a champion. They spawn in semi-random locations in the jungle, similar to Bard's Chimes, and respawn after a window of regrowth. Their spawn points are, are fairly restricted for early game, making sure they can't have too much impact on early gank routes or invades. We also ensure that plants have extremely strict rules around fairness. Teams should have balanced access to each plant that shows up in their in the game plants also telegraph themselves to ensure players have adequate windows to adapt showing up as seedlings 30 seconds before they can be used uh and then they go into a bunch of examples here um so i mean in concept it seems sort of interesting let me just show you like sort of the example they they've given i don't think this is supposed to be all the different things but this is the blast cone one It's basically described as sort of like this global, not a global, but it's sort of a, um, uh, an objective like uh, zig satchel. Like you hit it and people get blasted in every direction um, like they would with a zig satchel, as they mentioned here. Uh, next, we have this thing here, the honey fruit. So this essentially kind of takes the place of um, smiting red buff, essentially, I guess. So there you have that one there. Uh, the lastly, the last one they, they show, again, I don't think it's supposed to be all of them, but this is Scryer's Bloom. So notice that one, this one was kind of interesting. I had to look at it a few times to see exactly what's going on, but it shoots out like this giant wave-like cone. It, it's not, they mention, they talk of it like a hawk shot, it's sort of like a circular area, but from what I can tell, watch like the trajectory of this thing here. Like it's just kind of like this wave that shoots off. And if, notice everything's, vi there's, you get vision there and you can see stuff in the enemy jungle there like that. For a while. So, um, kind of interesting. Um, of all the ones they've shown, I probably like this one the best. Um, it seems like it would fit into the game the best. They, they talk about, like, um, Scuttle, or, um, how this one's basically the, um, the equivalent of, uh, the Raptor buff, in a sense. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, it's, note that this doesn't actually take the place of Scuttle, or I don't think it's supposed to, because you can actually see Scuttle Crab here. Now, granted, this is like some sort of weird internal version, so maybe there's stuff in here that's not supposed to be etc. but notice Scuttle Crab still is there. That is still an objective. Um, now, in terms of what I think of this, though I think Riot is not or presenting this very well. Um, if you go down here to, like, the first post, I kind of agree with this and it, my, my approach like with most things is typically a bit more tempered um, than sort of the knee-jerk reactions you're going to see in comments but uh, let me just read part of this out this looks extremely gimmicky i don't really understand why exactly denying someone kills by hitting a tree that uh poots out apples and are exactly dynamic just frustrating when you've outperformed and beaten your opponent uh they're given a get out of jail free card thanks to some very weird in-game forced uh in-game mini game forced in uh or a trampoline bounce when someone hits a bumper fruit or whatever that just seems very forced um it does and i think again the the examples right i wanted to show very dynamic examples of what what can be done here i don't think most of these things are going to play out quite like this but at the same time yeah like i really don't like this notion of sort of rng you're not sure what's supposed to spawn where and that sort of stuff 
again, like it looks like Graves either through positioning or you know maybe it was a fluke or whatever. But you know, at the very least, he's got full life. He's about to get the kill. He's on some level outplayed this guy here. And just because this fruit happens to be here, he has the option to just get the hell away. Um, now, granted, it does mention uh, I think later on in, in this thread somewhere the riot guy i forget what his name is says well you can also use it to your advantage for example the graves could have like dashed auto attack that and then blown him back that way kind of thing um which is you know at least there is an opportunity for outplay on the part of the guy chasing here but at the same time that just kind of seems like a you know sort of a fuck you to melee it's like only ranged people get to do this um so yeah i don't know and i think this is a really extreme example here like how often are you going to be targeted by a um a cart assault wall you know you're about to die and there just happens to be a plant here it could happen and it's just it would be stupid if it does but i don't know how often can you think of examples of just like you happen to be standing right by the red buff and you're about to die and you could have smote it to heal and you smote it to heal and then the car this bust up and kill you. like it doesn't happen that often but i don't know like again the examples they're giving just leave this very bad rng taste in my mouth and Again, since this is still sort of early, this is not even on the PB, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. I do want to like give some benefit of the doubt here. Because they do talk about they don't want it to be really RNG-ish. And it's like there's some systems working in the background to make it not feel like that. Or be like that, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. Speaking of bad taste uh, in the mouth. We're just coming off Season 6. Haven't been a huge fan of that. So, you know, whereas in the past, like, well, let's, you know, wait and see, you know, maybe this next season will be great kind of thing. Coming off this last season, I don't know, my patience is wearing a bit thin, but I don't know. I want to check it out in game, but at the same time, it does seem, yeah, like, as mentioned here, gimmicky and forced. And I'm never a huge fan of just like, or not never, but usually I'm not a very big fan of mini games in, in the game itself. Um, like, I don't like catching Draven Axes, stuff like that. I just want to, you know, go up against a person and kill him by playing straight up better. Like, that's my main interest. That's kind of a PvP thing. I don't want to be running around and just, you know, there happens to be a fruit in front of the guy, so he turns into, I don't know, Godzilla and shoots me with a laser or something. Um, so, I don't know. But, then again, I think Dota has something kind of like this, doesn't it? Like, River, um, Relics or whatever. Well, I don't remember what they're called. But, like, I think they're supposed to be random. <clears throat> what spawns in the river? I don't actually know. <clears throat> but, then yeah, that's Dota. There's nothing to do with this. <clears throat> what is wrong with my throat? The disgust at this whole plant. Oh, no, it's not. Um, so, anyway, that's what we have here. I I'm going to wait. I'm going to reserve total judgment until we see it in game. It like, maybe it's fun, but at the same time, you know, I'm not looking for... I, I don't think I really want this concept of short-term amusement at the expense of long-term balance of the game, I think. Um, like, it's... I think just having a more... I guess a fair experience in terms of being able to outplay the opponent... I think in the long run is more amusing than just having funny shit happen every once in a while. Sort of like this slapstick gimmick. Um, it's going to come up every once in a while in game. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And um, shortly after uploading this video, I'm probably streaming or something. Usual deal. See you guys around. Goodbye.